Hi, everybody. This is Marilyn. Um, do we have any audio for this? Maybe. Hello? Yep, we do. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, hello, everybody. This is Marilyn. And it's time for the uh, Welcome to My World. This is the fifth day of June, and it is a Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. So, how's everybody doing today? Um, anybody noticed uh, kind of a choppy, tough market this morning? It uh, it it hasn't been really, really, really very nice. We've sure seen a, a lot better days when we have better bus drivers. But this is. Um, the indices are in a, a bit of a chop. There have been some scalpy type trades, but not anything really to take a big trend on. Bonds has been in the same place for the last, um, oh, I don't know, all day so far. Since about, uh, oh, about three o'clock in the morning, it hasn't moved hardly at all. Uh, gold has just decided to uh, head south, although it's it's kind of hanging up right now on settlement. It sure doesn't have a lot of uh, conviction about that. And crude oil. This is uh, if you were up early and uh, and got on board, you had uh, the the people that trade the real early morning, about 5:30 or 6 o'clock was the very best of what crudes had to offer today. Um, there have been a lot of things in the news, and you may, <clears throat> you may have noticed. These markets do not like a bunch of nonsense. Excuse me. <clears throat> they do not like a bunch of nonsense like what we've had. And so it, you kind of expect a little bit of um, hesitation. The the big news here with crude oil is that last night and overnight, it really took off to the upside because the uh, <clears throat> the Arab oil producing uh, countries have pulled away from Qatar, and uh, so the the price of oil went up because they're they're putting some pressure on those guys. And that's because they seem to, uh, I, I read a very interesting article, uh, this has been a while back, that they were poised, ready, and waiting for the absolute destruction of Damascus because they've got a lot of construction companies they want to send in there and get all the contracts to rebuild it. So they may have been helping that along, I don't know. But anyway, the, the crude oil market did not like, I mean, it really liked the news because it, it to them, to the big uh, producers and big traders, it seemed like it would um, cut the supply a bit and drive the price up. But if you've noticed for the last, I don't know, about three hours here, crude oil, all this stuff with these little bunchy apexes down in here, and it's still, it just now put in its its first significant uh, E for an uptrend. This kind of stuff sitting here for all this time has taken out the stops from the from the northbound traders from late Sunday afternoon into about midnight. So we'll see if it. Uh, Tomorrow it may go on back up where it was since they've significantly clobbered the the stops out from under the the long position traders. But um, gold has been on a pretty good up move for I don't know several several days, if not the better part of two or three weeks here since. Well, it's almost a month. It's been almost a month. It's kind of uh, moved up. So 
uh, depending on some of this stuff that they're talking about, these markets are waiting to see what's going to happen with um, with the U.S. Congress and trying to get these tax cuts and tax reforms put through. The financial markets really, really, really are looking forward to that. And if they don't deliver on that, um, there might be some downside movement. If they do deliver on it, I think uh, the euphoria that comes into the indices is going to be, it'll be really nice for us. So maybe they'll do that sooner rather than later, and the summer won't be a, a normal boring summer. Because usually in these summer months, we all sit here going, uh-huh, uh-huh, and waiting and waiting. And it's all slogging through. So, um, yes, and this this uh, business of Trump just thanks, Karen. I saw that, too. This business of uh, Trump announcing that he's going to try and get uh, the air traffic control system privatized and hopefully a lot of other things that if you want anything totally, completely, irreparably screwed up, just get the government involved and you're guaranteed to have it. So if he can get that done, the, I, anything that gets the government out of whatever, because they are totally, in my view, that's what this is, you do understand, this is my view, they are totally incompetent in anything. So um, we'll see what uh, what the response is if he gets that going. But this is definitely a time to be paying attention to the news. This, since this is the first week in the month, uh, the first I think this is the first full week in the month. Um, there's not a, a huge amount of economic numbers that are coming out, but tomorrow morning, it's kind of uh, the JOLTS jobs openings tomorrow at 10 o'clock. That might be something worth uh, paying attention to. And then on Wednesday, we've got uh, not a heck of a lot, but the crude oil inventory will be back on its schedule of, the report will come out at 10.30 on Wednesday. On Thursday, there are quite a few numbers coming from Europe, and this the traders may be paying a little more attention to this, given uh, given this uh, free for all business in London over the weekend. That's just horrible, but it can rattle the financial markets and especially the currencies. And then on Friday, we also are not going to have a whole lot, but at 8.30 on Friday, the uh, Canadian dollar will be affected by the unemployment change in Canada and their unemployment rate. So uh, you can look at the APEX website for the news tab, and you, you will get... Uh, the strategy and what have you to uh, trade some of these significant news events. The other thing that you need to put on your, uh, you know, back in the in the forefront of your, the back of your mind for Thursday. Thursday, and this is for futures traders. If you trade the Nadex, then you need to pay attention to what the Nadex tells you. And they Apex is very good about putting the Nadex contract roles uh, will come up when you open up your Ninja Trader. So pay attention to that. But for futures traders, Thursday is the ind index. All the in indices will roll on Thursday. It doesn't mean you can't trade the, um, we're trading the June contracts right now. Doesn't mean you can't trade them on Friday, but the active contract, it's best if you're trading futures to go to that active contract simply because you're going to have less slippage. Um, on Thursday, especially, 
Wednesday it will be to a, a significant extent, but it'll still be going on on Thursday and certainly Friday. The traders that are holding, the long-term traders, the big, big, big money that are holding a significant number of contracts, they will start to unwind their positions over those three days to move their positions over into the September contract. So uh, that's just something, especially if you trade futures, you're going to be safer from the standpoint of incurring less slippage just in case, you know, they take off or something. If you, um, if you roll those contracts either first thing Thursday morning or when you're all finished on, on uh, Wednesday. So when you open it up on Thursday, you'll have September contracts. And that's for NQ, YM, and ES. So anyway, our uh, our friend the VIX has, this poor VIX, I'm telling you, I've, I, it's just amazing to me. It's below 10. I can't believe it. It's barely breathing. It's uh, trading 9 69 right now it was wow it was 10 earlier this morning but um for heaven's sakes i mean at some point that vix is going to come up and then we'll see the indices in particular will uh they'll start to give us some pretty nice trades it may take until september for that to happen at the rate we're going but anyway, um, I think that's about it. If you have any questions that, and any charts you want to post, this afternoon should be a pretty good time. I think uh, there, most traders are all finished uh, by this time, noon, which is why I come on at noon and not earlier because um, everybody's pretty busy. But if you're new and you want to get some help, um, for by all means uh, post your charts and ask questions because this is a really good time when it slows down like this uh, you can get some personal help so anyway this has been my